beginning of Bismillah. Tell us what the world be where we got Allah and face what the world we want. Chase for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Chase for Hajj, the blessed pilgrimage. Chase for Khatam, the seal of the prophethood given to the prophet. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Assalamu alaikum inshallah today um, in our polish your dawah gems uh, we will go through uh, one of the uh, verses uh, of the uh, book of Matthew and inshallah now before we go that we will talk about the uh, uh, Christian tradition uh, in that tradition for over 2,000 years they were being celebrating uh, called the Good Friday and Easter Sunday. If you look into this tradition, this tradition is going on over 2,000 years. And uh, what they tell uh, the basic belief of Christianity in this way, that the Jesus uh, um, prophet of Allah or the uh, Jesus Christ, actually he was uh, put on a cross on uh, Friday morning and then uh, he, he experienced that on this cross and this body is lower down on a Friday afternoon and uh, before the sunset and then his body was put on a tomb and then after it stays the body stays on Saturday on the tomb also and then on Sunday morning he rises from the dead. Now this is the entire um, uh, understanding of Christianity that because that Jesus was sent on this earth to die for our sin. And this entire theology is based on this uh, tradition. And the entire, all denominations uh, uh, with the Christians, they um, uh, technically uh, follow the same, same understanding that the Jesus uh, was put on a cross on a Friday and he was uh, uh, put on a tomb in the evening and Saturday he stays in the tomb and the Sunday morning, uh, he rises from that tomb, and they say this is a, basically he resurrected from the tomb. Mm. Uh, but if you look into uh, this, uh, uh, the whole uh, prophecy of Jonah, which is the, in the Matthew, we'll go through this uh, verse in that way. Uh, For as Jonah's was three days and three nights. In the wells valley, in the, uh, in the valley of the, uh, the uh, belly of the wells, uh, is a big fish, and then so shall the son of man uh, be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth, which is in Matthew twelve thirty eight to forty, because the heart of the earth here is a, a tomb, a place where the body was placed actually. So now we are comparing. Uh, the belly of the fish and the tomb, which is the heart of the earth. And Jesus is telling uh, in this prophecy, because people ask him, show us a sign. So first he said, I'm not going to show any sign. You are, no sign will be given to you. But then he mentioned this sign. This will be his sign, actually. Now, if you look into this, this sign, we analyze it, that in this sign, the most important thing is three days and three nights, which is a time period which is he was uh, supposed to be stay in the tomb for three days and three nights. And then the second thing is his uh, condition should be, he should be alive because the prophet Jonah, which is an Yunus actually, prophet Jonah, peace be upon him, he was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. And in that area, in the fish, he was alive. And after three days, the fish, uh, uh, and bring him out onto the shore actually and people found him alive so he was alive into the belly of the fish so and Jesus is comparing his whole uh, um, situation to him um, himself and is giving this parable on this sign so when the Christian uh, gives this story to us that Jesus died on a Friday and then he was uh, put onto the tomb and then on Saturday, he stayed in that tomb. And then Sunday morning, he rose from the dead. You know, first we go with the time calculations. And then 
Second thing, we will look into it, what his condition was, whether he was that, he experienced that, or, and, or, he, or he was alive in the tomb. And then we'll talk about the discuss theology itself, what, how it's taking place, actually. So, uh, inshallah, uh, look into that. So just analyze one by one. The Friday morning, 9 o'clock around, this is uh, probably is a Mark uh, 15, 25 verse. Talk about the he was put on the cross on around 9 o'clock in the morning and 3 p.m. after six hours almost, uh, he was uh, found dead. And then they lowered his body. And then the body was put into the tomb in the Friday evening. Because the Friday evening, the Sabbath starts. Actually, Jewish people, they believe that the Sabbath, you can't work on Sabbath. So it has to be lowered down Friday evening before the Sabbath starts. So they put his body into the tomb. Yeah. Which is, uh, and then on Saturday, whole day, and then the Sunday morning. Now we're counting the number of nights and number of days. Now, if you look into the first night between Friday and Saturday, that's called be the first night. Because the Friday evening, he was put on a tomb. And then the Saturday, he stays whole uh, Saturday into the tomb. And the second night will start from Saturday uh, to Sunday, between Saturday and Sunday, second night. So the prophecy is telling three days, three nights. Now, what we see in this calculation, it tells two nights only. First night and second night. So we do not know how we can uh, reconcile this prophecy with this, uh, the tradition that coming from over 2,000 years and churches are still continuing celebrating it and talking about it, but they never address the issue why the two day, two nights. So what, what about the third night? So how this prophecy is, uh, this is the big question. Then instead of three days, so, you say Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but they're not a complete three days, actually. If it's a three days and three nights, that means the 72 hours, 24 hours per day, so three days, three nights. If you want to precise, it's going to be 72 hours. But let's see, Friday in the evening, and then Saturday is the whole day, the 24 hour, and Sunday morning, it, it rides from the dead. So it does not make the whole 72 hours, the most probably sort of calculation, 37 hours or something. So this is one of the thing is the, the time does not match properly in this prophecy and what the uh, Christian tradition provides information, so, uh, their celebrations of Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Now the second imp most important thing is if Jesus died technically, then the prophecy does not match actually. And Jesus cannot tell something which is uh, uh, not correct. So the people either, uh, we can't say that Jesus was wrong to giving this prophecy. We can say the church provide this information. They might have not understood it actually. And the tradition did not verify properly all those details. So it looks like if the prophecy is true, then the Jesus must be alive. He should, he should not experience any death on the cross. He should be in the tomb for three nights and three days. And after three days, the technically is supposed to be arise uh, on Monday without experiencing that, then his prophecy could be true. So prophecy will always be true then. If he never experienced that, that means he didn't die. And he stays three days and three nights into the tomb. But if, if this is not, if this is true, then that means the entire salvation of Christianity based on the death of the Christ. And if Christ does not uh, experience that, then their salvation is in vain. So that's another problem. And if he dies, actually, let's see. So, and, and, and then and they cannot match 72 hours or three days and three nights. So it's still the prophecy does not fit. So either you have to go outside the Bible, get some sort of some historical event, try to make a patch or fit this but then technically it's it's still in the bible this prophecy is in the bible the crucifixion and time and de um, timelines also mentioned in the bible but they do not reconcile does not match and people over 2000 years they're following this tradition so 
And technically, if, if Jesus died, then this prophecy fails because then prophecy said Jesus is supposed to be alive. If Jesus is alive, according to this prophecy, then the salvation cannot be taken as a crucifixion. So technically, either way, whether if Jesus has died or Jesus is alive, A will not f fix any issue of salvation. The salvation is still a big question mark for Christianity. So this is basically is uh, the question remains same. Why did Jesus, uh, uh, then what happened if it's a saved? Or we can say, talk about the, uh, the uh, was Jesus alive or a dead in the tomb? So if he's alive, then, and matches with three days and three nights, then the prophecy is true. If he's dead, then the prophecy fails because Jesus was supposed to be alive. So in both the cases, where you see the, it's a big question mark for Christianity to how they preach people that the Jesus died for, inshallah. Um, we'll have uh, next presentation. We'll reflect on the other verses, and they will continue. And this, uh, those Muslims uh, engage in the ex, um, discussion or dialogue with the Christian uh, brother and sister. So I will suggest that remember this prophecy, discuss this prophecy, the sign of Jonah or the prophecy of, uh, of Jonah, and how their response, and also these timelines which you mentioned in the Bible how they view it because it doesn't make a three days and three nights at all. And then uh, overall, this is very confusing. Okay. Just like Allah.